Hello and welcome to today's science lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our laps and close our eyes. And when you're ready, guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. Excellent. And next, we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then we'll go down and touch our toes. Now, let's go back up high. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave. Wave side to side. And then back down one more time to touch your toes. So stand up straight and let's shake it out. Arms and legs, shake it out. Excellent, guys. Now for some rotations, we'll go left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent. Now we'll do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. And then, guys, we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. And then have another little shake. And to finish, we'll do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So now we've reached the end of our section about living things. So in today's lesson, we are going to review the different types of living things we've learned about. So the first thing we need to do is let's write on the board living things. L, I, V, I-N-G and things 
T H I N G S. So all together, guys, living things. And because today is going to be a review lesson, we'll write that word on the board too. So living things, review. R E V I E W. Living things, review. Now, in previous lessons, we've learned about three main categories of living things. Can anybody remember? Animals was one category. Excellent. So let's write animals on the board. A N I M A L S. So who can give me some examples of animals? A lion. A lion is an animal. Excellent. Lion is spelled L I O N. Lion. Now, any more examples of animals? A dog? A dog is a very common type of animal because lots of people keep dogs as pets. So dog, O, G. Now how about in the sea? Let's think about a sea animal. A shark. Okay. S, H, A, R, K. So we've got some land animals. We've got sea animals. And how about in the air? How about the type? Birds, yes. Birds are the types of animals that can fly. B, I, R, D. So we've got some good examples of animals that we've learnt about previously. Lion, dog, shark, and bird. Yes. But there were other categories of living things too. There was animals, and then how about things that grow out? Grow out of the ground. Yes, we learnt about plants. P L A N T S. Plants. Now, can we remember any type of plants? A lotus plant or lotus flower. Excellent. And that's particularly true in Thailand, where we see lots of lotus flowers. So let's write lotus. L O T U S, a lotus plant. And how about types of plants where we have fruit growing off them, such as banana plants? Banana plants, yes. B B A N A N A. So we've got lotus plants, plant. banana, plant. banana plants, and can anybody think of any other type of plants? Ones that don't have fruit, they don't have flowers, they just have leaves. These are what we call non-flowering plants. And I'll give you an example, a fern. Yes, fern, F-E-R-N. So we have lotus plant, banana plant, and fern plant. Yes. And then there was a third category of living things. They weren't animals and they weren't plants. Yes, remember we had to use another category for types of living things that we don't really have one category for, which we called other living things. Excellent. Now can anybody remember some of fungi? Yes. Remember when we looked at mushrooms, and we know mushrooms because we sometimes eat them. Mushroom is a type of fungi, and that is a type of other living thing. F-U-N-G-I. Fungi. And then bacteria. I was about to ask, remember, the very microscopic little things that are everywhere. They're on our desks, they're on our clothes, they're inside our bodies. But we can't see them because they're microscopic, which means we need a special machine called a microscope to see them. And those type of living things, guys, are? Uh, uh, bacteria. Bacteria. 
A C C E R I A. Bacteria. Excellent. So for animals, we have lion, lion. Dog. dog, shark, dog. bird, bird. Plants. plants, we have lotus, lotus. Banana. banana, fern, Burn. and for other living things, fungi, fungi. Bacteria. bacteria. These are all good examples of things that we have learned about previously. But actually, there's not three different types of living things, there's four. Can anybody remember the fourth type of living thing? And I'll give you a clue. They're all in this room now. Humans, people, we can't forget about ourselves. The fourth, the fourth type of living thing on the planet is us, humans. But that was excellent, guys, very well remembered. And what we've got now, we've got a PowerPoint presentation for our students to review the different sections that we've learnt about regarding living things. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, Living Things, living things. Review. Yes. Living things, living things. can be divided into four categories. Yes, the four that we've looked at earlier in our recap section. Number one, plants, such as lotus plant, banana plant, fern plant. Yes, these are all different types of plants that all share similar characteristics. That's why they can go into the same category. And then we had animals. animals. Yes, and you can see lots of different animals here. What animal is this? Horse. Horse. Dog. Dog. Cat. Cat. Duck. Pig. Yes, all different types of animals, but we can all classify them into the same type of living thing. And then we have other categories. The animals that live in the ocean or the sea, we call sea animals. Animals that live on land, land animals. And animals that fly high up in the sky, birds, yes. So three different categories of animals, sea animals, land animals, and birds. And then we had our other category, other living things. Yes, this is the category for things that we can't classify as plants or animals, but they still have life, so we need to classify them. Fungi, yes. This is the category mushrooms belong to. And lots of fungi look similar to mushrooms. Bacteria. Bacteria. Yes. These are the very microscopic things that live inside all of us. But we can't see them because they're so small. We need a special machine called a microscope. Now here you can see the bacteria because they've been magnified thousands of times by a microscope. And then we had algae. algae. Yes, algae is like the green slimy stuff that we find in rivers and ponds. And similar to plants, it can produce its own food through photosynthesis. And finally, the last category, us, humans. We can't forget about us. We're living things too. So we had plants, plants animals, animals, other living things, other living and, humans. and humans. And they're the four categories that make up life on planet Earth. So now looking back at plants, each plant, each plant is, made up is made up 
of different parts. Remember the exercise we did so that we could learn the different parts? We had flowers, stem, leaves, roots. Roots anchor the plant to the soil. You can see here the roots you normally can never see because they're underground in the soil. And these are the roots here. They will keep the plant safe in the soil. Roots also absorb water and minerals. Yes, roots are like, if you think of roots as like the thing that can drink for the plant, they take in the water and they transport it around the plant. The stem, which is the long stick here, the middle of the plant, transports water and food around the plant. Yes, you can think of the stem as like the skeleton of the plant because it's what moves to all the different parts. The stem also provides support to leaves and flowers. You can see in this picture, the leaves and the flowers, they're all hanging off the stem. All the different parts of the plant are kept together by the stem. Leaves capture sunlight to help make food for the plant. Yes, that's why you'll normally see leaves at the top of the plant, because they have to be high to catch the sunlight. Leaves are the receptors to the sunlight. And plants make food through photosynthesis. Yes, that long word again, photosynthesis. Well done. That's the process of plants making their own food. And many plants also produce flowers. Produce flowers, yes. You can see all the pretty colours on the top of this plant. This is a plant that produces flowers because you can tell by the pretty colours. A plant that doesn't produce flowers will just be green or brown. Some plants also grow fruits, such as strawberries and blueberries. Now, what fruits can you see here? Strawberries. And you can see they're growing off the plant. We can classify plants into two main categories. Flowering, like the picture on the left here, you can tell by the pretty colours. You can see the pretty colours of the flowers. So this is flowering or non-flowering. Yes, non-flowering plants are usually only green. Because they have no flowers, they don't have any colours, only the colour green. And now, on to our next category, animals. Now, animals are, ready for this, heterotrophs. 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 Can anybody remember what that means? Tiger's one, tiger's an animal. Heterotrophs are living things that eat other living things to survive. Like when an elephant is eaten by a lion, the lion is a heterotroph. It eats other living things to survive. You see? Heterotrophs are living things that feed on other living things. And you can see it's like a food cycle because living things that eat other living things 
will then be ate by another living thing. Like the grasshopper that eats the grass will be eaten by the frog. And then the frog will be eaten by the snake. Then a big bird will come along like a hawk and will eat the snake. And then eventually the hawk will die. And then the hawk will decompose and be eaten by the fungi. And this is what we call the food cycle, where all the living things feed off each other. We can classify heterotrophs into three main groups. Herbivores. Like this animal here. What animal can you see? Rabbit. A rabbit is a herbivore. And what does that mean? Herbivores are animals that feed on plants only. Yes, no meat, only plants. Herbivores. And then we have carnivores. Now you can see in the picture here, what animal is a carnivore? A lion. Carnivores are animals that feed on other animals. Yes, like the lion will eat the elephant, or the lion will eat the deer. That's a carnivore. So the third category of animal, omnivores. Now, who can remember what omnivores is? A bear is an omnivore, but what does omnivore eat? Excellent, it eats both. Omnivores are animals that feed on both plants and other animals. For example, if we have a pet dog at home, a dog is an example of omnivore. It will eat meat, but if it has to, it will eat plants too. Animals are classified based on if they have a backbone or not in their bodies. And you can see here, what skeleton is this? What animal? Horse. A horse has a backbone. You can see it here. But this animal, jellyfish, no backbone. Invertebrates are animals that do not have a backbone, similar to this snail here. And because the snail doesn't have a backbone, it has a protective shell. Vertebrates are animals that do have a backbone. And what animal is this a skeleton of? People, humans. We are examples of vertebrates because we have a backbone. This bone here that runs right through the middle of our body is our backbone. So therefore, we are vertebrates. Vertebrates can be classified into five smaller groups. Fish, birds, amphibians, reptiles, and mammals. All have backbones, so all are vertebrates. And other living things that we looked at, fungi, bacteria, and algae. Fungi are decomposers. They get their food by breaking down dead animals and plants. Yes, remember before when we looked at the food cycle and then the birds would die and then the fungi would feed off the dead bird. That's what we mean by decomposers. They feed off dead things. 
examples of fungi are mushrooms, mold, and yeast. Bacteria are very small living things that we cannot see with the naked eye. Now, naked eye, what that means, we can't see just by looking. We need to use a special machine so that we can see the bacteria. Does anybody remember the name? Micro... Microscope. Well done, guys. We need to use a microscope to see these types of living things. That's why they're called microorganisms. And algae. Algae are a large group of organisms, group of organisms that usually live on water. Yes. When you go to your local pond or stream, you can see the tops of the streams are covered with a green slimy material. This is the algae. And algae can also be food, such as seaweed and kelps. Yes. Any questions, guys? Okay, that was excellent. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation so they can review and remember about the different categories of living things that we've learned about. And we're going to do a flash exercise for our students to demonstrate how to categorize each living thing in the correct category. Well, first of all, we've got our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs, guys. And for this sequence, we'll have a game of teacher says. So if you hear teacher says, you can do. But if teacher doesn't say, don't do, guys. Okay? So hands on head. Touch your knees. Teacher says, hands on shoulders. Teacher says, arms in the air. Arms down. Teacher says, arms down. Arms in the air. Teacher says, arms down. <laughs> teacher says, arms down. Let's, teacher says, turn around. And teacher says, turn back the other way. And back the other way. Excellent. Teacher says, walking on the spot. Stop. Teacher says jogging on the spot. Stop. <laughs> teacher says stop. The teacher says down into a little ball. Five, four, three, two, one. The teacher says jump. Excellent, guys. The teacher says, please sit down. And teacher says, it's now time for our flashcard part of the lesson. So teachers, what you'll need to do in preparation is print off the pictures of each of the living things and cut them into individual pictures. And what we're going to do is have our students come forward, place the pictures in the correct category and write the name of the living thing underneath. Well, first of all, guys, we need our three categories again. So what categories of living things have we learned about? Animals. A-N-I-M-A-L-S. Animals. So that's one category. What's our next? Plants. Okay. P L A. N T S plants and then our final category other yes other living things O T H E R so now we have our three categories on the board I will ask my students to close their eyes 
and I will give each of them a picture one by one. Our students need to come forward, say the name of the living thing, put it into the correct category, and write the name underneath. So let's see who can go first. Okay, so our first student will be Pangpon. And let's see what living thing Pangpon has on his picture. So let's see, what do we have, guys? Tiger. tiger. Now, what type of living thing is a tiger? Is a tiger a plant? Animal. It's an animal. So Pangpon, you can place it there. Animals. And then Pangpon needs to write tiger underneath the picture. So how do we spell, guys? T. T. Excellent. I. 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 G. E. E. O. Oh. Excellent. So Pangpon has correctly demonstrated tiger, tiger. animals. Pangpon. Brilliant, Pangpon. High five and a big round of applause for Pangpon, guys. Okay, so now Pangpon can relax. Everybody else, let's close our eyes again. And now it's Dan's turn to place her picture in the correct category. So Dan, bring it forward, please. And let's see, what type of living thing does Dan have on her picture? Lotus. Lotus. A lotus plant. Excellent. So Dan, what category would you put your lotus into? into plants and then we will ask down to correctly spell lotus too l o t u s perfect Dan. well done so we can see lotus, lotus. Plant. plant it's a living thing in the correct category down that was excellent High five and a big round of applause for Dan, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and play on with your students in your class for around 10 minutes or so. And remember to use a different picture for each student so that they all get the chance to play. So let's see who can be next. Okay, so now it's Net's turn to bring his picture forward. Let's see what picture Net has, what living thing. So first of all, Net, bring your picture forward and show it to class. What can we see, guys? What type of living thing can you see? A fungi. fungi. Now, is fungi an animal? No, is fungi a plant? It's other living things. Net, that's excellent. And now Net is going to show us how to spell fungi correctly. So we have F U N G and I. Yes, we finish with I. So we can say fungi, fungi. Other, other living thing. Net, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Net too, guys. Next picture. Okay, now it's Pak Boong's turn. I wonder what living thing Pak Boong has on her picture. We're about to find out. What? Birds. Now let's think, is birds Animal. a plant? Animal. Not a plant? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Pak Boong, are you sure? Yeah. Okay, then where will we place it on the board? Excellent. And then Pak Boong, can you spell birds for me? I R D. And then how many birds can we see? Three. More than one. So what do we add at the end? Birds. Excellent. So we can say birds, birds. animals. animals. Pak Bung, excellent. High five. Big round of applause for Pak Bung, guys. <laughs> Next one, let's see. Okay, now it's Pat's turn. I wonder what Pat has on his picture. Let's have a look and find out. Pat, can you show it to class? Bacteria. Bacteria. Other. Bacteria, other living things. Well done. So Pat, can
Can you place it in the correct category for me? Excellent. And now Pat will correctly spell bacteria. B A C T E R I A. Pat, that's excellent. Correctly spelled, and you can see bacteria. Other living thing. Other living thing. High five and a big round of applause for Pat. Okay, next one. We still have some more students to play. Okay, now it's time for Nadia. I wonder what living thing Nadia has on her picture. Nadia, can you come and show us, please? What can we see? And fern is an animal? Plant, excellent. So Nadia, place it into the plant category, which is great. And then how do we spell fern? F, F E, e R, R, N. Fern, brilliant Nadia. Fern, fern. plants. Plant. Nadia, excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Nadia, guys. Okay, final few now. So who hasn't played yet? So the next one is with Chu. What living thing does Chu have on his flashcard? Let's see. Chu, can you hold it up and show it to class? What do we have, guys? Fungi. Not fungi. Al Algae. Nearly sounds a bit like fungi, but we have fungi already. This is... Algae. Now, is algae an animal? Other living things. So Chu can place it in the correct category. Brilliant. And now Chu is going to help spell algae. So let's do it together, guys. A. A. L, L. G. A. A. E. And then finally, E. Excellent, Chu. Brilliant. So we can see algae. Al other living thing. Chew, that's brilliant. High five. Big round of applause for Chew, guys. <laughs> Next one. Okay, now it's Prel's turn. I wonder what living thing Prel has. Prel will come forward now and she will show us her picture. And then we can tell. So what can we see? Banana. It's a banana plant. Excellent. So, Prel, what category will you put it in? Perfect. Banana plant in the plant category. And how do we spell banana? Perfect. Banana is a fruit that grows on banana plants. Perfect. Prel, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Prel. <laughs> and now, our final picture for our final student. And this one's for Lakgao. Lakgao, come forward, please. Can we see your flash picture? What do we have? A rabbit. Now, is a rabbit? Rabbit is an animal. Excellent. So, Lakgao... What category will you place rabbit into? Okay, animal can go into the rabbit, uh, into the animal category. And now, that guy will spell rabbit. R-A-B-B-I-T. Perfect. Well done, that guy. We have rabbit, animals. Excellent. High five, big round of applause for Lakgao. So final time now, guys, that we have them all on the board. Animals, tiger, birds, rabbit, plants, lotus, fern, banana. And then other living things, fungi, fungi. Bacteria, bacteria, algae, algae. 
Guys, that was excellent, very good job. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off a worksheet for each of the students in your class. And on today's worksheet, because it's a review, we have a vocabulary box with 20 different living things inside. And then we have our three categories. Guys, we have plants, animals, other living things. Have a read of each of the living things in the word box and then write them correctly in each of the different categories. And remember, there's only one category for each thing. But what's the first thing to do? Yes. And give our students around 10 minutes for this activity and help them with anything they need. So, Chu, this one's for you. You're welcome. Pat, for you. You're welcome. Nadia, for you. Net. You're welcome. Down, this one's for you. Thank you. Pak for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bang Thank you. You're welcome. And Laka, this one's for you. So guys, 20 living things. And you have three categories to put them into. And it's a good idea, after you've done each one, cross it out. So you know you've already accounted for it. For example, the first one is lion. And what type of living thing is a lion? So lion will go into what category, Pak Bung? Animals. Lion is an animal. And then bacteria. And we remember other living things. Yes, bacteria is an other living thing. So we'll write bacteria in other living thing. If you need any help, guys, let me know. And that's it. Well done. Yes, fungi is other living thing too. Lotus. Excellent. That's perfect. Well done, Chu. And it's a good idea once you write them here. Cross them out here. So lotus. Turn. And then like monkey, monkey, animal. These are all different living things that we've learned about. What do you think? Dolphin. Dolphin. Lives in animal that lives in the sea. sea. Yes, dolphin is an animal. Fish, animal. Yes, mushroom, well done, Preo. Mushroom is a type of fungi, so it's an other living thing. Dolphin, what do we think, guys? Animal, yes, dolphin is an animal. It's a type of animal called a mammal. Mushroom. Mushroom is a type of fungi. Other. Mold. Again, mold is a type of fungi. So, other living things. If there's any you're not sure about, guys, leave them till the end and then we can come back to them. Mold, other living things. Eagle. What do we think about eagle? Eagle is an animal, a bird. Other. Excellent, guys. Well done, Ned. So now, animals. Lion. Animal. Seaweed. Now remember, what type of thing was seaweed? Not quite plants. What does seaweed look like? It's a type of algae. Yes. Seaweed is a type of algae. So it's an other living thing. Excellent, Dan. Well done. Seaweed. A bacteria. Well done, Nadia. Giraffe. 
And what do we think? If we go to the zoo, we will see the giraffe at the zoo. We go to the zoo to see animals. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity where they had to look at the 20 different types of living things and categorize them correctly according to the three main groups. So ready guys, plants, lotus, lotus. Fern. fern, banana, banana. Cactus. cactus, tomato, tomato. and then we had animals, Animal. lion, lion. Fish. fish, dolphin, dolphin. Dog. dog, eagle, eagle. Cat. cat, monkey, monkey. Giraffe. giraffe, and spider, and finally, other living things. Other living things. Bacteria, Bacteria. Fungi, fungi, mushroom, mushroom. mold, mold. Seaweed, seaweed, and algae. Excellent, guys. Very well done and well spoken. <laughs> so we hope you've enjoyed this review lesson, and we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we all turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Bye-bye. See you again soon.